Have you ever wondered what your toys are made of? Let's start with action figures. Those superheroes and characters that come alive in our hands. Most of them are made from a material called plastic. Plastic is a versatile material that can be molded into any shape you can imagine. From the tiniest fairy to the largest dinosaur. And where does plastic come from? It's actually derived from oil, a natural resource found deep within the earth. Now, let's move on to those building blocks that you love to stack and create with. Most blocks are made from a material as old as time itself. Wood. Wood comes from trees, which are grown all over the world. Trees are cut down, and the wood is carved and shaped into those blocks that you can build towers, castles, or just about anything you can dream up with. And what about your cuddly teddy bear? The one you snuggle with when it's time for bed. Teddy bears and other stuffed toys are usually made of fabric. This fabric can be made from a number of materials, but a common one is cotton. Cotton is a soft, fluffy material that comes from the cotton plant. The cotton is picked, cleaned and spun into threads, which are then woven into the fabric that makes up your teddy bear. Even the stuffing inside your teddy bear is carefully chosen. It's often made from a synthetic material that's light and soft, but also strong enough to keep your bear cuddly and huggable for a long time. Each of these materials, plastic, wood, fabric, they all have unique properties that make them perfect for the toys they're used in. Plastic is strong and flexible, wood is sturdy and durable, and fabric is soft and warm. So, your toys are made up of many different materials, each with its own special properties. Did you know that many things around us are designed to carry loads, just like your toy trucks? That's right! Many objects in our everyday life are actually structures created to support different loads. Think about a bridge, for instance. It's not just there for us to cross over rivers or valleys, but it's also there to support the weight of many, many cars, all at the same time. Fascinating, isn't it? Or consider a bookshelf. It's not just a place where we keep our books. It's also a structure designed to hold the weight of all those heavy books. Imagine if we had to carry all those books ourselves. We'd be quite tired, wouldn't we? Even the chair you're sitting on right now is a supporting structure. It's designed to hold your weight and keep you comfortable while you're sitting. It might seem like a small job, but imagine how tired you would be if you had to stand all day. But have you ever wondered what makes these structures so strong and sturdy? Well, it's the materials they are made of. Bridges, for example, are often made of metal because it's very strong and can support a lot of weight. Bookshelves are often made of wood, which is also strong and durable. And chairs? They can be made of a variety of materials like plastic, wood or even metal. These materials are chosen carefully because they are strong and can last a long time. Even when they have to support a lot of weight every single day, they are like the superheroes of the materials world, always ready to carry the loads and keep us safe and comfortable. So next time you cross a bridge, sit on a chair or take a book from a bookshelf, remember to thank these amazing materials for their strength and durability. Without these strong materials, our bridges, bookshelves and chairs wouldn't be able to hold all those loads. Ever notice the tiny parts that hold your toys together? Those are called fasteners. Just like how we need friends to stick by us, objects need fasteners to keep them together. They are the unsung heroes of our everyday life, quietly doing their job without asking for any applause. Imagine you're building a tower with your favorite building blocks. Each block is like a fastener, holding the tower upright and keeping it from tumbling down. Similarly, fasteners like screws, bolts and clips are used in various objects, from your colorful toys to the comfiest chair in your home and even the towering buildings outside your window. Screws, with their twisty design, are like little spiral staircases that dig deep into materials, holding them tight. Bolts, on the other hand, are like strong, silent warriors, often paired with nuts to clamp parts together. And let's not forget clips. They are like friendly little hands, snapping parts into place and keeping them secure. These fasteners may seem small, but they have a very important job. They ensure that our toys don't fall apart while we're playing, our furniture stays sturdy for us to use, and the buildings we live in stand tall and safe. So the next time you play with your toys or sit on your favorite chair, remember the unsung heroes that hold them together. Fasteners may be small, but they sure have a big job to do. Why does your teddy bear feel soft and your toy car feel hard? Let's dive into the wonderful world of everyday objects and materials. You see, the purpose of an object often determines the materials used to make it. Take your teddy bear, for instance. It's made out of soft, cuddly fabric because it's meant for snuggling. 
The soft fabric is gentle on your skin and makes it perfect for bedtime cuddles. Now think about your toy car. It's made out of hard plastic or even metal sometimes. That's because it's designed for racing across the living room floor, surviving bumps and crashes along the way. The hard materials make it durable so it can zoom around for hours of fun. Different objects have different purposes, and that's why they're made from various materials. Your toothbrush has bristles that are firm enough to clean your teeth but soft enough not to hurt your gums. Your raincoat is made of waterproof material to keep you dry during a downpour. And let's not forget about your school bag. It's made strong and sturdy to carry all your books and stationery. So you see, the materials used to make objects are no accident. They're carefully chosen to ensure that the object can do its job well. Whether it's soft for cuddles, hard for durability, firm for cleaning, or waterproof for protection, there's a reason for everything. Next time you play with your toys, think about why they're made the way they are.